that is why right gay. Hundred days of MPP government. That is why gay on the Apple Common Purpose Alliance. C Park for short. Church or Minion. Well, if you ask me, today is the 17th of April 2017. Hundred days of MPP in government. All I was looking for of a government that just came in is certain economic policies to do it the way forward. Have they done it? I'll give them the credit. Let's see how the economic policies roll out. They have brought about a very robust, drastic economic plan of action. It's a change from the old government. So obviously that's one of the changes that we're looking for. How is going to be implemented and produce results we yet to see. That is why it does about the economy. Satisfactory. That is only the economic policies that we're talking about. Implementation and results we are yet to see. I'm gonna to touch on our four areas I deem very crucial to the citizenry, very pertinent issues that confront people every day. What has the government done in 100 days? I'm a move on when he has some on that game. Day in, day out. These are issues. Some of them require long-term planning, obviously, we know that. Some of them do require very prompt action, plan of action, very robust and very radical initiatives that we need to see and we should have seen in 100 days. First of all, it's healthcare. A poor mudin hum moon sensem. A poor mudin mu insensem. The healthcare needs of the people. Has something been done? An initiative that is radical. Not that I'm aware of. Number two is security. 
So that's number three. I talked about the economy. I give them satisfactory when it comes to healthcare. I haven't seen any radical, radical um, initiative that is going on in there to address some of the basic problems that people were facing. We had of um, arrears that the NHI cards weren't working. In 100 days, in three months, we were expecting to see some radical approaches and radical initiatives that can address those problems. Are those problems just persistent or they've been addressed? I don't know. You tell me. Number three, security. Security, security, security. I come here and say security goes with law and order now. The rule of law, that's what democracy is all about. Kebi Mamin Kebi, democracy is not kind of nefapim, the rule of law, the rule of law. It simply means that embra in a democracy. If laws are not working, if laws are not enforced, democracy is nothing. We've seen the decline of rule of law in the last 25 years of this dispensation. Has there been a radical transformation, reform of the security agencies and the enforcement of law and order in a country in the last three months? Not that I am aware of. If you are aware, you can tell me. Not that I am aware of. Radical is something that people can feel, people can see instantly. It's very spontaneous, it's instantaneous. You can feel it. You can feel the presence of a radical change. Have we felt a radical change so far as law and order and the administration, uh, the enforcement of law is concerned in the last three months? You tell me. But not that I'm aware of. Number four is housing. I'm not expecting the government to build houses in three months. But there are very, very serious issues to do with renting, private property, rental, uh, the rent uh, law being enforced. What is the law? What is the law? What does it say? Landlords collecting two, three, four, five years advance before they can rent their houses to tenants. It is illegal. It's unlawful. You don't need three months to enforce this law. It needs radical, radical approach to it so that people can feel it. Has there been anything like that in the housing sector? No. Pertinent issues that confront ordinary people. It has been persistent in the last at least eight years not just the eight years as far back as the last 25 years of this democratic dispensation of the public, public it is getting worse has there been any direction implementation of radical change to arrest this situation i don't think i've seen in the last three months have you you tell me There's your brother here, YK. 
on behalf of Common Purpose Alliance Ghana, CPAC for short. Those 100 days of the new government, MPP government in power. And I don't think I've seen much change like I was talking about in the housing, housing, existing housing policies, how they are enforced, or housing rules and regulations to do with rent and private tenants and the way they treat their tenants. We have serious issues there. We can run a country like that where ordinary people need two, three, four years, five years advance before they can rent a place. The government needs to wake up. You need to enforce the law. The government, it is his responsibility to enforce these laws that are already in existence. Number five, food production and agriculture. I must admit, I'm impressed. Uh, I drink minister now, Vim I don't agree with him with some of the things he used to say when he was in opposition to do with um, something to do with GMOs, you know, he's got some weird thinking around that line, but let's talk about what he's doing now, so for us, food production and new direction and production of um, staple food in Ghana and getting everybody involved and in, in fact, Revitalizing the agri industry, say Obema farmers no Owenya Areshemuna Owenya Ahoki can be in their activities of farmers and food production in Ghana. He is putting a lot of initiatives in there to revitalize the industry and produce more food, and that I commend him. Well done. I've seen a lot of activities in there in the agric industry. So that is a plus. Well done, and more greasy elbow. Minister of Agri and government's initiative to make agriculture and food production a very important aspect of government economic policy. put the rest of it all into one to do with um, roads and transport industrialization energy electricity the final one six that I'm going to talk about social intervention programs all the rest of it I give the government credit policies have been put in place and I hope they work out God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation greater and stronger 
soul. As God is going to bless our own land, Ghana, and make our nation greater and stronger, we can only hope a life without hope is no way to live it. There is more room for improvement, obviously. The three months is a very, we cannot possibly want to judge a government in three months, but we can assess what has been done, whether is in the right direction and i'll give them 55 percent 55 percent because the implementation of those initiatives or policies policy policy implementation to initiate them and to make sure that they produce results is very very important you cannot do the assessments in three months Nobody can do that. If you try and do that, then you are being very, very unfair. And you are being, you are politicizing it. It's only um, politicization that can do that. If anybody is screwing his head on his neck properly, he's not going to charge the government in three months. You can assess what they've done. The ones you think they are lacking, obviously they have not done a few things that you expect them to do or some things that you expect them to do that's okay because it's all about prioritizing what are their priorities they look at the economy they put a lot of very very radical economic uh, policies and initiatives in place so you have to give them credit for that that is a, a very drastic change from what was happening so you give them credit for that how they enforce those policies and make sure they work is another thing how things work is another thing so we give them time to see how they perform in that direction that involves a lot of leadership 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 so 100 days fair point Fair point. Fair point. You cannot over exaggerate what has what what they've done, and you cannot downplay what they intend to do. But I was expecting more in the security aspect, but there's still room for improvement. And Ketri, God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation greater and stronger. This is YK on behalf of Common Purpose Alliance Ghana. God bless you and let's keep hope alive. Ghana will work. God bless.